Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitroy Tips and in this video I'm going to talk about how to fix path of exile 2 is having an issue with crashing it is not launching or won't launch freezing, stuttering, lagging low FPS drop and stuck on loading screen including the black screen including many more errors just happening for many of users right now and how we can fix this app so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about we have to go over here in the start and click on the start icon go to this particular icon over here and click on this one and do a restart because sometimes you know a simple restart can fix a lot of issue so we have to start with a simple restart as the first step next one is all about we have to make sure that we have to launch the game from the steam so most of us launch the game from from the steam so that is why we end up in having the issue so we should be having to or try to launch the game from the installation folder so if you don't know how to navigate to installation folder just follow the instruction just go over here in the file explorer now from here navigate to this pc so now either the game will be installed on local disk c or local disk d or local disk e so we have to make sure where the game is installed so in my case the game is installed on d so you have to open d now i have to go to steam library navigate to steam apps go to common now from here I have to go to path of exile 2 now from here I have to launch this is the application this is the .exe so I have to launch the game from here in some cases the game will be installed on D by default I have changed it from D to uh, C to D because I don't have space so if you're on the C just go over here navigate to program flex 86 go for steam now navigate to steam apps go to common now from here as you can see we'll be finding the folders over here so this is for the c but most probably you have to check which where the game is installed on based on this you have to navigate to this and apart from this there is the shortcut from the steam so just go to the click on the game right click and go to the properties navigate to the install it file and just click on the browse now as you can see at the top there is this pc new volume d steam library steam amps common path of exile 2 now from here we have to launch the game so that is what we have to do so try launch the game from the installation folder not from the steam and this might even work for you many work for you guys as well next one is all about we have to run the game as administrator or we have to run the game in the compatibility mode so just click on the .exe right click and go to the show more options and navigate to the properties go to over here you have to let me do it once again select this one go to the prop show more option navigate to the properties go to the compatibility as you can see compatibility mode run the program in the compatibility mode is actually not selected so select this one make sure that you have set this to windows 7 and go for apply or you can go for windows 8 try with windows 7 or windows 8 you have to try either one now from here go to run this program as administrator and go for apply and go for ok and once everything is been done we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about we have to delete the saved game file so just go over here in the file explorer and we have to navigate to this pc and if you find any folder here for the my documents over here will be able to find the folder if you find any folder for the my documents because when you started saving the game most probably you'll be having a folder so make sure that you have to delete the game from the respective folder so once you delete it as you can see you'll be losing all the progressions of the game but even though that is fine because uh, that even help with many users next one is all about we have to allow the game to window security so just go over here search for the control panel we have to search for the control panel search for the control panel now from here go to system and security go for windows defender firewall navigate to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to go to the game path of exile so hence it is an alphabet just keep scroll down and navigate to p and from here you have to find whether the path of exile is added or not as you can see the path of exile 2 is added and make sure if it is added both the box put a check on both the boxes that is put a check on private and public so in some cases for many users not many but some users they end up in asking the question what if i have to do if this particular thing is not added if that is the case just click on the change setting go for allow another app navigate to the browse 
navigate to where the game is installed that is new volume d in my case go to the steam library steam apps go to the common navigate to path of exile just go over here in the path of exile 2 now from here select the respective one and go for add this, this is what we need to add so just go for add i'm getting the error because the game is already added so this is what we have to do and how we can add it once you're done with this one just close everything and go back to the game and try launch the game still if you're having the trouble we can move to the next one that is all about what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with a lot of peripherals right now over here as you can see the my computer is already connected to a joystick which i usually don't play but even though it's connected because i used to play many other games like forza horizon 5 and others so it is already connected so even this even causes the hindrance so what we need to do is just unplug everything all the usb unwanted things should be unplugged including the controllers and once you launch the game you can connect back the controller and you can try continue play the game and that even worked for many users so you can try this out as well next one is all about we have to perform a clean boat so just go over here search for the system configuration search for the system configuration and you have to click on this one we'll be having a box like this click on the services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok now they're gonna ask you for restart but you have to keep in mind when you go for restart that is that is what you have to do but for the purpose of the video because we are running in the obs so i'm gonna go for exit without restart but the users who are watching this just go for restart after the restart try launching the game from the steam and that might work for you guys as well if that is not the case let's move to next step next step is all about we have to close all the overlock overclocking and overlaying application so over here as you can see if you go over here you can see just go over here in the task manager and right now as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background a lot of apps are running in the background and all these things are actually utilizing the performance so as you can see 360 total security which is unwanted the antivirus is running the photoshop is running and many th things including the blue stack is running the canva is running and all these things are actually utilizing the performance so when i'm launching these kind of games i'm going to end up in having the crashing issue so it is quite important that we have to remove the unwanted things just go over here and go for end the task and we have to go over here and go for the end the task and we have to go over here and click on the end the task and remove everything once everything is being removed we have to go back and try launching the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to give the commands in the launch option so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties and over here as you can see enable the steam overlay while in the game this should be turned off this is a very important step and try launch the game if that is not the case just go over here and give this particular command that is dx11 try giving dx11 if dx11 is not working try giving dx12 if dx12 is not working try giving d3 d2 you can either try with dx11 or you can try with dx12 or you can try with d3 d2 all these things should be done and once it has been done we just need to move to the next step next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase or we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search and we have to search for graphics settings now from here we have to go over here in the system and as you can see the main, many games are added in the same way we need to add the game just click on the add desktop app and we have to navigate to the installation folder go to local disk d go to steam library steam apps go to common scroll down and navigate to the game path of exile 2 and select this one and go for add so right now as you can see the path of exile 2 is added so we need to scroll down and navigate to the game so path of exile 2 is added just click this particular one and there is an option called let windows decide change this to high performance and once high performance has been set just close this and go back and try learns the game next one is all about we have to increase the virtual memory so just search for view advanced system setting just click on this particular step and go to the advanced go for settings go to the advanced once again now from here click on change make sure this is unchecked and select the select where the game is installed so in my case like i said it is on d now go to the custom size we have to give a calculate we have to do a calculation and we have to give a value over here for the initial size and the maximum size 
So just search for the calculator. Now from here we have to go over here. So type the RAM of a computer. So my RAM is 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and I have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings me 49152 and copy this and we have to paste it. Next one the maximum size 32 GB into 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. Now once everything has been done just close this and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the windows. So just go over here in the search and we have to navigate to the settings. Now from here go to the windows update over here. Now from here we have to make sure the windows is up to date. So as you can see mine is up to date. So if you're not up to date just update the windows. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card manually. So just go over here navigate to the uh, page which I'll be providing in the description which will be for the Nvidia as well as for the AMD. So you have to go over here in this particular one and once you join over here in, I mean once you click on this particular link you will be getting these options. Now from here you have to scroll down and as you can see you have to select what is your configuration. So if you are on the Geoforce select Geoforce and if you are on 14 series select everything and go for find. And once you go for the find what happens is you can see will be landing on this particular page and if you're on Windows 10 64 bit edition and if you're on Windows 11 download the driver version 566.36 because it is released on 5th 2024 which is around 732.91 MB which is the latest one so download this one and if you're on the uh, AMD just go over here select everything like graphics should be selected and you have to go for search because we are looking for the graphics so just search for the graphics and once the graphics is selected or you have to go over here what kind of product you need so in our case it is graphics and we need to go for the next once the graphics is selected we will be having these options if you are on windows 11 download this one if the system is based on 64 bit if you are on windows 10 if it is based on 64 bit you have to download this one and after installing try playing the game and also you can try installing the Microsoft Visual C++ which I'll be providing a link in the description so just go over here so if the system is based on x64 you have to download this one if the system is based on x86 you have to download this one and once everything has been done just try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uh, what do you have to do is after trying with all these things still the issues there we can try uninstalling the game so just go to the game, go to the manage and un uninstall the game and you have to reinstalling it back. You should not be installing it back on the local disk C but you have to try either local disk D or local disk E because or if the game is installed first on C, try a new local disk. If the game is installed on D, you have to try either C or either E. You should not be installing on the same local disk from which you uninstall and you should not be trying again. Next one is all about the last and the least step. We have to try verify integrity of game file. So which is an important step. So just go over in the game right click and go to the properties. Go to install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this is going to check whether any files are corrupted, if any files are missing, if any files are going through any kind of issue, which is the reason why we are having the crashing. So they'll be checking all these things, which is going to take a little bit of time. And once it reaches 100% and I'll be showing you what you have to do next.